Hello and welcome. Today we are going to deal with geography chapter resources. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button and let's get into this class. What are resources? Resources are something that brings value and they help to satisfy human needs. Basically, there are three types. Natural, human-made and human. So let's look at natural resources. Natural resources are those resources that are drawn from nature, like air, water, river, lakes, etc. They are classified into different groups depending on their development and use. Here you have two types, actual resources and potential resources. So what are actual resources? Actual resources are those resources whose quantity is known to us. Examples, the rich deposit of coal in Ruhr region in Germany, dark soil in Deccan Plateau in Maharashtra. We know the quantity of these resources. So what are potential resources then? We do not know the quantity of these resources. Like we do not know the quantity of uranium found in Ladakh. Let's move along to the next one. Based on their origin, they are biotic and abiotic. So what are biotic? Basically humans, animals, plants, etc. Non-living things such as chair, stone, buildings, they are all abiotic. Natural resources can be broadly categorized into renewable and non-renewable. So what are renewable? Those resources which get renewed or replenished are called as renewable resources. Examples such as solar, wind, etc. Non-renewable are those which have limited stock and they can get exhausted like coal, petroleum and so on. On the basis of their distribution, resources can be localized means resources which are found everywhere. Now this depends upon number of physical factors like terrain, climate and altitude. Remember that natural substances become resource only when their original form has been changed. Example, iron ore was not a resource until people learned how to extract iron from it. Now, technology is also a human made resource. We move on to the human resources. People are human resources. Why are they human resources? Because people can make the best use of nature to create more resources when they have knowledge, skill and technology. It's very important it's very important to improve the quality of people's skills so that they are able to create more resources. And this is known as human resource development. Nature has provided lots of things to us. So it's very important for us to conserve it. What is resource conservation? Using the resources carefully and giving them time Giving them time to get renewed is called resource conservation. Along with this, we have sustainable development. Now, it is very important for us to live sustainably. So what does that mean? It means balancing the use of resources and conserving it for future generations. All this information will be useless if we do not put into practice. So I invite you students, let's use our resources responsibly so that we keep something for our future generation. I want to know in the comment section below what resources you are going to use responsibly. Hit that like button if you enjoy these classes. See you next time. Take care. Thank you very much.